whenever there's a rise in water level in a dam, there seems to be an explosion of red claw. So today, I'm going to take the old sweet potato, chop her into a few pieces and put her in the opera house traps and see how we go. So I'm just going to throw these traps in around 8 to probably 20 feet of water, just experiment a little bit, see where the red claw are, check them regularly, make sure that they don't eat all the bait and see if we can catch some. Don't have to use just sweet potato, you can use all sorts of things, things like pineapple, uh, my favourite's rock melon. There's lots of different baits out there that you can use. You can even use cat food, dog biscuits, dog sausage. The things will eat anything, so you just whack her in your trap. Just remember, keep checking them regularly and keep a bit of an eye on them. Make sure someone else isn't checking them for you. Let's go do it. I'm just going to whack my bait in one of these funnel traps. I'll take a couple bits of this sweet potato here, just whack them in the guts there. Might even tuck them just under here. So that so they don't move around too much or fall out on the way down. Swing that over and then of course close her up. Make sure the clips are done up so nothing falls out when we pull her up. Right, oh, there we go. I'm going to throw this one in about 10 foot of water. Pop him over the side of the boat. You want to also make sure that your traps have got your name on the trap and as well as the float. Milk bottle's fine, it's big enough. So I'll put my name and address on that. Leave it out there and hopefully nobody else will be checking that on me today. Now that the red claw pots are out, we come back and check them later. But in the meantime, we're going fishing. Ooh, had the funnel traps in for about an hour now, so it's probably time to go and check them. Let's see how we've gone, see if we've got any red claw. That's not a bad start, a couple of nice red claw. Let's check the rest. I've got a good feeling about this one. I think it's going to have a few in it. Oh yeah, baby, look at that. That's not a bad haul. A few red claw in there, they're smaller specimens, but geez, not bad at all. What have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six red claw. Must be loving that uh, sweet potato that I've got in there. I can only imagine how many I'd have if I had rock melon in there. I just seem to love the rock melon. So check that out, some nice red claw. See if we can get some bigger models. It's been a good day and I've caught plenty of fish, but there's one last thing to do before I hit the road, and that's check these red claw pots that I put in a few hours earlier. They should be loaded by now. Red claw on the Barbie tonight. Come on. So there you go. I had three pots in the water and I fished all day and I only checked those pots twice. 
Well, plenty of red claw. There must be 20 or 30 in the live well there. I'm gonna take them home, chuck them on the barbie. We'll have tonight. I reckon red claw, garlic, honey, and soy. It's gonna be good. I can smell it already.